Apple goes live with its M5 chip, which will power the latest 14-inch MacBook Pro, the new iPad Pros, and even the Vision Pro. I know, they all retain the same designs we had before, but this chip is actually a big deal. Like in the case of the A19 and A19 Pro, the M5 is built on TSMC's third-generation 3-nanometer process, with this chip introducing a 10-core CPU, 10-core GPU, but then each GPU core featuring its own neural accelerator for dramatically faster AI and graphics performance, just like in the new iPhones. It's not just an iterative update once you look at the numbers. Apple claims up to 15% faster CPU speeds, sure, but uh, then up to 45% better graphics compared to the M4, along with a 30% increase in unified memory bandwidth, now reaching 153 gigabits per second. The chip also includes a new third-generation ray tracing engine and an improved 16-core neural engine, all resulting in more realistic visuals, faster rendering, and greater efficiency for AI-driven tasks. The new MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, and Vision Pro with the M5 chip are already available for pre-order, but design-wise, all three remain identical to what we had before, as I mentioned earlier. The base 14-inch MacBook Pro still features the same liquid Retina XDR display, MagSafe 3 port, and up to 24 hours of battery life starting at $1,599 in the United States. Now, what's interesting is that we here European buyers won't find the charger in the box due to regional packaging restrictions. We also noticed that the old Vision Pro can't be traded in for credit towards the M5 model, pretty much alienating the group that would have bought it in a heartbeat, though we do have new straps and other updates. Meanwhile, the more powerful MacBook Pro models featuring M5 Pro and M5 Max chips are expected to arrive in early 2026. Let me know what you think about these updates in the comments.